Yeah, I think that's something we're going to have to go back and we're going to really have to look at. I mean, when you look at the numbers, the numbers are good, but obviously when you look at the uh, scoreboard, it doesn't uh, reflect the numbers. And uh, we need to be a lot better in the red zone and we need to be a lot more efficient. Was there a particular area where you felt you were struggling offensively? I don't know about the word struggle. We just we have an opportunity to make plays and then we get down there and there's a penalty or something that uh, puts us in the wrong down the distance to uh, you know, give us a high percentage opportunity down there. And, uh, it looked like you had a couple of them. The struggles to connect on the long play continued. You got a couple, but obviously not enough to carry through. I mean, did you see that, or did you feel the long pass? Was... Well, I know we completed the one long one to Roger. You know, I know we missed the one on the fourth and three. Obviously, that was a miss. But I don't know if I have the same feeling that you had on it. But uh, we definitely missed on the fourth and three. We talked a little bit about the defense after. Uh, once they got Edwards rolling, it looked like you guys were on your heels after that. Yeah, well, it looks like he, uh, the young man rushed for 165 yards. I'm not sure what he had before the half, but uh, the main thing is they were able to, uh, you know, they ran a lot of clock and kept the ball away from us. And uh, uh, when you add that, when you do the flip side of that, you're not scoring points to finish drives. It can get pretty complicated. The game can run away from you very quickly. So it was. We need to do better on offense, uh, finishing, scoring points, and obviously we need to get more stops from the defense. Was there something different they did offensively with him with Edwards in the second half? He only had 19 yards in half. Wow. The, uh, uh, we have to check. I mean, that's a big difference, 19 yards to what he has, so it wouldn't be fair for me just add lib on it. I'd have to check the tape. Would you talk how you felt the defense played in this game? It's just gut feeling? Well, I, uh, the halftime score, I would imagine that they need to do a little bit better in the first half. And uh, I think they gave us some opportunities in the second half to win. But this is not a, this is not an offense, defense, special teams thing. When a team goes out and plays like that, head coach has to take responsibility for it. You're going to take responsibility for the wins. You're going to take responsibility for this loss. This is on me. And uh, I'll, get it, I'll get it fixed. It's my job to fix it, and I'm going to fix it. Wait, not fixed. Everything. Pick one. All five to talk about passing. It. Only 140 yards here. Uh, running backs, each of them 104 yards, 167 yards. Probably not. 140 passing yards probably isn't what you're looking for, is it? Okay, you said that so fast. I couldn't hear right. everything that you just said. 159 rushing yards for Travis Green, 140 yards for Fred Coppett, where Todd Sheen only had 140 passing yards. You probably want a better passing game, don't you? You, you, want, to, you want to stay balanced. Whatever your rushing totals are, you want to try to get that in the passing game. Yes, sir. What do you think may lack in the passing game today? Well, I'm going to have to go back and check the tape. I really do. Uh, I think that uh, it's not something that I want to add to it now. I'm at a pretty emotional state, as you can guess, and I want to make sure I choose my words wisely. So I want to really go back and watch the tape. You talked earlier this week about one set of seniors off. This is probably a tough way to set them home off. You know, this, this senior group has really done a lot of great things. I, I believe their very first year they were two and ten under Coach Clawson, and uh, they just won the MAC East back to back with an opportunity to win the MAC championship back to back. Hasn't been done since 2003, 2004. And as bad as we may have looked out there today, I still feel there, there's a there's a game out there that can make a difference, that can hopefully right the wrongs that's happened in uh, in some of the parts of this season. And uh, I still have faith in these young men. I still have faith in these coaches. And I still have faith in myself that we'll get it right. Right now, the way you want to go into the MAC championship, is it? Well, you can't always, can't always pick what you want. But uh, we get an opportunity to go out there one more time and, and prove that we're a good football team. And you get Northern. Just talk a little bit about that matchup. Is that who we're getting? Fantastic. Uh, played them last year. Okay, It was a heck of a game, and they beat us. Uh, I think it's a. I think that Northern's a fine, fine university. They probably won the most games outside of. They probably won the most games in the MAC the last two or three years when you look at the records. So I guess they're the. They're the. the Giants. They're the Goliath. So we're we're getting an opportunity to play the best team in the West half. But you're excited probably that you don't have to wait till a bowl game. You need to go out next week and maybe wash this one away. We we need to do some things. Uh, we need to do some things to wash this away. This is a really bad taste. It's not Thanksgiving food. It's a 
right now. I'm telling you right now, this is bad. Okay. But I've got faith. Believe without evidence that we can get this done. We'll get her done. Big plays early by you know, Cobbett, Green, and Stevens jump out to that 21 7 lead. Do you sense the team maybe relaxed a little bit, thought this was going to be an easy one today? You know, I, I don't want to say that. I mean, if you give me a 21 7 lead, I, I think I'm going to be able to close that out most of the time. That's a big lead, and uh, we weren't able to do it. I, I don't want to say that. I just want to say that uh, my hat goes off. That's a good coaching staff at Ball State. Those young men have won a lot of football games. They've been double digit the last two or three years. And that senior class found a way to win. And I'm, my hat goes off to them. It really does. You talked a little bit about your emotion. How would you describe your emotions right now? Numb. Very numb. Not from the weather, I take it? No. I, don't, I, can't, even, I can't even tell you what the temperature was right now, the way I'm feeling. Coach, since the Indiana game, it seemed like the offense is uh, buttoned up just a hair, uh, especially uh, letting James attack the middle of the field. Any sense that that's kind of trying to protect him these last two games? I don't see that. Uh, the last fourth down we converted to Burbs was in the middle of the field. The last fourth down that we did not complete to Burbs was dead smack in the middle of the field. We're going to stretch the field. We're going to use all areas of the deep ball. The Roger Lewis was right in the middle of the field. So I don't know how strong that statement is. We have to. We, offensively, you just can't cut off one part of the football field or you're going to be in trouble. So we try to make sure that we attack all the areas. Coach, your kids were huddled around heaters all day. How excited are you guys to be having indoors next week? Can I take that out of the factor? You know, I, I, they better be excited about having another opportunity to race to what we just what we just put out on the football field, what we just demonstrated, because that's not our football team, and that's not how we want people to view our football team. They they need to be excited about those things. I hate to bullet blow up play by play, but I do want to ask you about a couple of play calls, the two fourth down plays early. The the one was the fourth down was a short pass to Ronnie. I want to say it was a fourth and eight and only game five. And then the long field goal attempt by Tyler. Can you just talk a little bit about the feeling on those two plays? Well, first of all, the uh, if the route was I can't I can't I can't remember if that was why the route was short, because normally we throw for the chains. So that's that's our first thought. We're gonna throw for the chains. The short field goal with uh, with T I thought you could make it. You know, the snap was high. And it did delay putting it down, and I think it threw his rhythm off a little bit if you go back and watch it. But I've seen him hit that thing. So that, that wasn't really an issue, especially at home. Coach, had Western Michigan won today, and, and um, you guys have been playing UT in the night championship. How do you feel about that? Just elaborate on that. Did UT win? Did Western Michigan win? No, they ended up losing, but had they won? I, already won, I don't want to elaborate. I really don't. I would love to, but no, I can't do it right now. I mean, we play bad, and we need to play better. Coach, anything else, guys? All right, thank you.